Commissioner. Thank you, Senator. Um, I just want to say, everybody in this room, I welcome you to San Francisco. My fantasy is that at some point we're going to have more electoral votes, be able to never have another Trump collect Trump center in the future. And I feel your pain. Honestly, when I, I read a report about millennials not being able to have a higher standard of living than their parents, it really hit home. I have a niece who lives in the city and she's always constantly, she pays half of her income in rent and she wants to move out because she's not saving any money or building wealth. And that's a big issue as you age. If you don't build wealth, you don't have any security. So the goals of the I, I, SBA 27, I completely understand the public policy rationale behind it. Just some context for the city. Since 1990, we upzoned the city to accommodate 100,000 new additional units. That's through the area plans. 100,000 units. And that kind of, you know, whatever we did in the 60s and 70s. Could you repeat that again, please? The for, we we, we upzoned 100,000 units in the city since 1990 through the area plans. And that should erase a lot of the, the damage we did maybe in the 60s and 70s and 80s. Uh, we also allow an, another 30,000 ADUs to be built. And they're actually, thank you, Senator Weiner, you did it in the Castro first, and we thought the triple is actually now becoming a river, and we're on, now on to the upper hundreds there. Um, so I want to make sure that everybody understands, and again, not to discount the need for uh, transit-oriented development, with the existing zoning capacity we have in the city, and I'll get to my punchline, we could build an additional 143,000 units. That's not chump change. So our pipeline alone has 60,000 units, and what does that mean? We have 5,875 currently under construction. We have 17,000 units that are approved, entitled, but not yet built. We have 30,000 that are approved in master plans like Treasure Island, Park Merced, and uh, the Hunters Point Shipyard, which I think we need to work on getting infrastructure money to allow those to get built. That's a real issue here. And then we have the additional capacity for the city that's still out there that can be built is 16,500 ADUs, 51,000 soft sites where the height is currently higher than what the building is, and that's actually significantly lower. Uh, the, the building's lower than the actual height. We have 7,200 applications currently pending that are awaiting to get entitled. And then we have 15,575 units out there waiting rezoning. So that all adds up to 143,000 units. Now, with the infrastructure idea to get those units actually built, we've got a reason why we're out not getting a lot of these units built. The number one reason is construction costs. So I'm hearing construction costs, construction costs, construction costs, and then financing because of construction costs, because they're too high. So projects aren't penciling out. So one of the issues that I'm worried about is what I call unaffordable by cost. So even, at, even if you sold a unit at cost, half a million, whatever it, that it costs to actually make, build, how are you going to get people that can't even afford that to live in there? So this kind of missing middle, there's a gap there that's unaffordable by cost to me. Um, I think that from a make your bill better point of view, from a displacement point of view, this bill alone may have eviction and displacement uh, protections in it, but the Housing Accountability Act doesn't. So it's, it's, it's kind of bills being kind of all coupled together to actually that could incite displacement or demolition. And I know we here in the city need to work on that and make sure that we have objective standards rather than subjective standards, which we currently have. The other thing is historic preservation. Um, if we wanted to preserve every, everything that's sold, we'd still be a city of you know, one-story shacks, right? We actually demolished one on Petrero Hill last Thursday by approval. That was this been there for hundreds of years, so it wasn't historic. However, I'm worried that this SBA 27 doesn't go far enough in terms of the sequel ratings of the buildings themselves. So on the National Register, on the State Register, and a local landmark, is a very, very small percent of the, the homes. It's probably less than one percent. Expanding it to CEQA A structures would probably expand that by maybe at half a percent, but I'm worried about those structures. Um, on the right of first return, could you, could you send, could you send I'm going to send all these to you. Yeah, no, okay, so absolutely, and these are to make the bill better. Um, the right of return that we're seeing at the Planning Commission is our, our rent stabilization law doesn't go far enough. Construction normally takes longer than three months. People get evicted because they're going to add an ADU or they're going to you know, add a floor or whatever. And they move to Antioch or wherever and they never come back. So that's the real issue. The, account, the, the art, I'm sorry, the Conservatory of Music did it right. 
So they did a project where they're displacing tenants. They put them in buildings <coughs> until the, the new building's done and had them come back at the same rent. These are the kind of things that I think would really a lot, a lot of the concerns people have around displacement and yeah. Yeah, impact. No, I appreciate that. Like I, I said, we are um, some people in LA actually came to us too with you know, talking about the uh, rate of return. And so we're actively looking at that to see what it might look like. You know, it, you, I'm glad, thank you for mentioning the same middle, because you're right, construction costs, for many different reasons, and, and the North Bay buyers have exacerbated that. I mean, the, the, the shorter the construction labor, everyone being constructed like then. Uh, but the, the, you know, this missing middle, which is what this bill is, right? Um, largely four and five story buildings uh, that are going to be lower construction costs, because it's not steel. Uh, and, and so that, that is a good, so we have five minutes.